in one of Britain's wealthiest counties. Another rich kid is going for a spin. So here is my brand new Bentley Mulsanne, which my father's bought me. But unfortunately, I'm too young to drive this car, so I have my own driver, which will show for me around and wherever I need to go. Thank you. 16-year-old Adil is the son of a wealthy property investor. Another Bentley. This particular model I like because they're very rare. So I told Dad I don't want a car that's common that everybody else has. <laughs> Here's my fleet of cards. Here I have the Range Rover autobiography, roughly around about 100 grand. Then here I also have the Rolls Royce Wraith, which is my favorite, which is around about 280,000. Then here we have a new Bentley, which is the Mulsanne. And then here, this one's actually just the new one that's just been delivered this morning, which is the GTV. Voila, it's amazing. And then here it's just a C-Class that we just, yeah, just drive around now and then. <laughs> Today, he's meeting up with 17-year-old bestie Jack for a spot of extreme window shopping. I'm taking him to Rolls Royce to persuade him to buy a new Wraith. And I feel like a Wraith is such a cool young car to have as a first car. We were going to maybe go shopping for um, clothes and things, but I'm not particularly looking for anything today, so I fancy looking at a car. Ah, you're OK. You it's really nice. You like it. Jack's because family also made the millions in property. Yeah. And these rich kids have been friends for almost a decade. I think it was that Burberry coat. I remember that. Oh, yeah. And I said, I really like your coat. Yeah. Oh, and then we both had the same Bentley. Oh, yeah. Here's a Balenciaga, mine are Christian Louboutin. I just love these red ones. I have so many pairs. Well, it's more natural. Phone case is not It's got to be slightly natural. We buy just so many things and it's like, really, how are we going to carry all of these things? I mean, it's like a workout, really. We're just helping their comedy, though. <laughs> I like this one. Yeah. Adil's family are regulars at this Rolls-Royce really showroom. Hi. Hi. Good to see you, Jeff. Hi, you? nice to meet you. Hi. Good to see you. What do for you today? Wow. We're just looking for a new car. They love cars, they like spending money, and we're a great place to do that. Can you do, like, suede? You're prepared to pay for it, then we'll do whatever you want to do. We are, like, normal. Like, we do have, you know, people that help in the houses and things, in our houses. But yeah. if they're not there, we won't be sitting there and be like, oh, well, we can't put the kettle... Like, we can't put... We can't make tea ourselves. Like, we're not we like that, yeah. you know, just because we'll of the housekeeper. We'll make it if we need to, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We don't always rely on that. No, we don't always rely on it. I mean, I don't really know how to do the washing, but... <laughs> Let's yeah. go for something different. But then there's silver one. I like the silver one. This is the rare Phantom Drophead Coupe. Do you like this one? It's one of the most expensive cars in the country. 426,000. This is a good price. But the price tag means the deal's oh, also that. interested. I think my dad wants this one now, actually. So we think we're looking at buying this, unless Jack doesn't want it. I am keen on this one, yeah. though. Well, obviously, if you want, you've seen it first, so if you want it, you can have it. I'm not. <laughs> it's another one anyway. Yeah, to be so. fair, I did see it. We could have matching. But if you don't want it, I'll have it. Uh, <laughs> this just should be, like, south of France. Yeah. Or Waitrose car. Like, with all the fur in the... Yeah, Waitrose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have a look at the ceiling. It's... 1,340 individually sewn fibre optic cables. It's just stunning. Yeah, I like the ceiling and everything. Yeah, I think the ceiling's the main thing. I think you should have the ceiling. Bentley, Rolls Royce, those are our favourites. I mean, yeah. I will drive it, but if it's I like prefer to be driving. driving. Or like yeah, if it's like a Porsche or like a smaller, like practical car, then we'll yeah, drive it. Yeah, if it's it. just like the two of us. Yeah, I mean, they don't really fit much yeah. shopping in there. There's a budget, as in common sense kind of budget, but not, not literally, no. So, Jack, if this appeals to you, uh -huh. it's 299,808. OK, yeah. When you're a bit younger, you, you are maybe not as aware about money, but I have always been taught about it. I know the value of money. I actually do. <laughs> £3,000, Christian Louboutins, yeah. No. 
I like this one, you know. I feel it's cool. I just feel it's different and it's cool and it's quite dapper. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's dapper. Huge. Yeah. yeah. It's just a very comfortable it's car. Starboard. And I think it would just be for me and Adil to, you know, when it's sunny to put the roof yeah. down. Yeah, probably just like Starbucks. Not a drive through though, because it wouldn't Why probably be able to get it around the drive through <laughs> But the Phantom Drophead is sold. So Jack is shown a less exclusive model. Uh, well, let's go for a drive through what you think about on the road. OK. We think that people that are from money do have a lot more taste. I'm sorry, you can't polish a turd. The colour of cars, the yeah. choice of clothes. Yeah. It's like, why can they, why, are they, al why are they allowed to buy that? Good cup holders for the coffee. Yeah. I think I was upset my heart on the drop head, but obviously it's a sold car and that's not possible. Um, so we're kind of on option B. But for Jack, second best is just not good enough. 